G'day folks, Heath Home here with another How To Ableton Live video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to combine two or more Ableton Live projects. And I'm gonna show you this, how to do this in roughly seven steps. So let's dive in. Over here in session view, I have currently a musical idea. And what I wanna be able to do is go back through some older Ableton Live projects and maybe recycle some tracks and some ideas from those projects and add them to this musical idea. So how do we do that? Let's come over to our Ableton browser and open that up. And if we come down the bottom here to the places section of the browser, at the bottom we have add folder. If I click the plus symbol alongside that, I go to the desktop of my computer and there on my computer I have a master folder where I save all my Ableton Live projects. So in your case, you want to be finding the directory, searching for where do you save all your existing Ableton Live projects. In my case, it goes into this master folder. Now I could add this master folder over to places in the Ableton browser, but I'm gonna add a, a dive a little bit deeper and add a subfolder. So I'm gonna open up this Ableton master folder. I'm gonna to go to the year 2019. I'm gonna open that up. And I'm going to choose the month of August and I'm going to come down the bottom right here and click open and you'll now see that showing up in the Ableton Live browser under places is the folder August and if I click that folder we now see some different projects that are housed within inside that folder. Now if it's a simple case that you want to add the whole older project in alongside this new project you're working on I can simply open up this folder a little bit further grab the whole project ALS file here, drag it over to the right hand side where there's an empty space and drop it. And you'll now see that I have the whole older Ableton Live project, all of its tracks and all of its elements in the session view alongside my new musical idea. Amazing. I'm gonna command Z to remove that step because I wanna dive a bit deeper here and show you some more steps. So I'm gonna open up the browser again and I'm gonna come over here and if you have a look, there's an arrow alongside that ALS file, but if I open that up a bit further, I now can see the stems or the individual tracks that are housed inside that project. So maybe I just want to use the kick here. So another step would be grabbing the kick drum here, dragging that over and dropping it again alongside my old musical idea. And I'm just adding individual parts of an older project. Again, amazing. Command Z to remove that. Now, if we look again at this existing project, um, there's an arrow alongside the tracks and stems. If I click that arrow, I get another little sub menu option. And if I click that option, down here in the bottom where we get our normal audio preview or preview, it's popped up the message click to preview. So if I come back up, up here and click with the mouse, I can now preview that kick drum sound. Great. And that applies for all of these different sounds here. So I can go to the open hi-hat, again, click it, and have a listen to how that sounds. So that's amazing. So now what I'm going to do, and of course that also applies to the point that I could be playing up here, scene one. This is my musical idea, and I can come over here and preview how that kick sounds alongside my existing musical idea. So I'm gonna add a few of these tracks or stems. I'm gonna pop a kick drum in, and, again, and I'm always dragging them over, in this case, to the empty space on the far right in the session view. I'm going to add these hi-hats in. Okay, let's put the 16th hi-hat in as well. I'm now going to play scene one. Sounds good. What about the bass? So um, how about again, I have a little click underneath the bass and preview how it sounds. Nice, I like it and I'm missing a bass line at the moment. So I'm gonna also add this profit bass over here to the session view, drop it in there. And again, I'm gonna push play on scene one. Great, and you will notice, for example, with that profit bass track, if we need to check, if I open up that track, there's the instrument imported, and if I open up the MIDI clips, all the MIDI's been imported. So as you can see, it's powerful stuff, and I can recycle audio tracks, MIDI, instruments, loops, etc., from old projects in a very smart way. Last but not least, if we look at this older project folder, 
At the bottom I have groove, a groove folder as well and basically in that older project I've used a groove from the Ableton Groove Library. So if I click this and open it up you can see the groove that I've used and what I can also do is now grab this groove and drag it out and drop it onto existing tracks in the project and apply that groove across again my older, sorry, my new musical idea. So again another powerful thing that comes from recycling and using your projects in this way that I'm showing you. So that's going to be a wrap for today's video. Um, if, you, if you like what you see and you want to learn more about how to use Ableton Live, um, consider subscribing to the channel and of course smashing the bell so that you receive a notification when I've posted up a new video on how to do something in Ableton Live. Um, any comments or feedbacks, please pop them in the comments section below. And of course, if you have a suggestion for a, a different type of tutor Ableton tutorial, um, also pop that in the comments below. Uh, thanks again for watching this video and happy music making and catch you on the channel soon. Ciao for now. Ciao.